Uh, good evening. Now I have the pleasure and honor of co-chairing, as you heard, together with Stanley Berman, uh, Bergman, the Muslim Jewish Advisory Council. I've also had the honor about 22 years back of receiving the AJC's National Human Relations Award president, uh, presented by David Harris. An amazing David, you remain young and strong. You know, we continue our association and journey. We today have to lead in a rapidly changing world, a world marked by ever increasing diversity. When I took over the reins of Ethan Allen 32 years ago, I encountered rock ribbed New Englanders and country folk from the mountains of North Carolina who had never met a Farouk before at Ethan Allen. <laughs> I looked for common ground with my associates and found it. I must also really recognize Nathan Ensel and Ted Baumritter, the two founders of Ethan Allen, to have the courage to hand over the reins to a person born in Kashmir with a name like Farouk. And I'm here today to share a groundbreaking initiative that is also about the search for common ground, the Muslim Jewish Advisory Council. We helped found the Muslim Jewish Advisory Council in the early fall of 2016. It is helping shine a light of unity and solidarity across the country at a time when our society seems increasingly polarized. We hope that our example will help inspire others to act in a similar spirit, in the pursuit of shared humanitarian values and the shared love of America and all that it has offered to each of us, whether born here or, as in my case, arrived as a young student from the beautiful mountains of Kashmir to beautiful Brooklyn. <laughs> and went to New York University at night and had the honor about two weeks, two weeks back, to be the keynote sp speaker at the graduating students at the, at the Madison Square Garden in New York City. To me, that is the promise of America. I should also mention something that is not known, that the name of Kashmir in its language is called Kashir. And the person and the language of Kashir is called kosher, so most probably I am more kosher than anybody <laughs> around here. Together with my co-chair, Stanley Bergman, as well as the 40 other distinguished council members, we are pleased to share with you a short video that we hope will spark your interest in joining our work. Together we can pave the way, the way for a brighter and more harmonious tomorrow. Thank you very much. In the fall of 2016, AJC launched an initiative, an initiative involved finding ways to bring attention to the American public of the concern related to the increase in hate crimes against people of faith. And the objective was to get together and in a unified manner talk about the issues facing both the Jewish and the Muslim communities. The largest number of hate crimes are committed against Jews, but the fastest growing cohort of hate crimes is actually against Muslims. The objective was to make it a positive effort, a bipartisan effort. Getting Republicans, Democrats, religious leaders, business leaders, academics together is not an easy job. The council, it's a total of 40 people, 20 American Jews, 20 American Muslims. We have both types of people, individuals who are national in their reputations and people who have 
incredible reach back to their communities. The Jewish community knows deeply, profoundly, historically, that hate directed against any group is a force that can take down an entire society. Whatever faith or no faith you are, this is the time. The stakes are really high in this country. We all feel it. It's not partisan, but we feel the climate in this country being concerning. It's time to speak out and stand up. When we see this kind of hate and bias, the Jewish community knows that we must act swiftly, immediately, forcefully, There is a lot of common ground between the two communities. Both are religious minorities that are feel deeply their affiliation and attachment to this country, that are largely immigrant communities, that uh, have attachments to uh, home countries overseas, but are first and foremost Americans, and want to improve the pluralism and the democracy of this country. Our society needs this, our citizens need this, the public needs this. I really just think this is a wonderful opportunity for these two communities to get together because at the end of the day, human dignity and human liberty are things that are important to all communities, um, Muslim, Jewish communities, and others. And I think the, the council will begin to work with lots of different communities, but it's just an example of Muslim and Jewish communities coming together. But I think it's something that we hope to model for people of all different races and faiths. I'm very excited about this council. Already now the community is excited about it and people are asking us what can we do, how can they get involved? Because they see it really as uh, the a glue that brings the two, two communities together. I'm very excited about it.